Uh, well, to the point, and they all raise this very degree, this, this debt. Are we whistling past this debt graveyard to Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget? President Maya McGinnis on that. Uh, Maya, you have always feared, like, you know, we are, we are dealing with this spending far more than we're taking in issue, and you can't ignore that. Uh, it's still out there, and it could get worse before it gets better, if it gets better. What, what do you think? Well, not only is it still out there, it's projected to get worse, and it's actually projected to never get better. So um, on one hand, I think, yeah, markets are responding to the short-term fiscal stimulus that is likely to come with a whole lot of new deficit spending and a more uh, business-friendly environment. But what they're ignoring to their peril, because it means that the growth plan we're looking at won't be sustained, is that this is all predicated on borrowing trillions of dollars of debt. And that is not something that will be able to be a comprehensive sort of sustained economic growth strategy. Because but can, you, debt can levels you grow, I'm not saying grow your way out of nearly 20 trillion in debt, but can you grow your way out of adding on deficits? In other words, that you, you, you chip yeah. away at them uh, to the point where they, mm. they don't get worse anymore. Right. So 100%, you cannot grow your way out of $20 trillion of debt right. or anything close to it. Uh, you had Mitch Daniels on yesterday, and he said it exactly right, which is you cannot grow your way out of this problem, but you can't fix this problem unless you grow the economy. Right. So focusing on economic growth through things like tax reform, which are different than tax cuts, it means changing the way that we tax in this country to make us more competitive and grow the economy, smart regulatory reforms, smart shifts in spending, from consumption to investment, and importantly, a sustainable fiscal policy where these things are paid for and we bring our debt down instead of up, that's comprehensive growth plan which will contribute to getting rid of this fiscal imbalance, but it will not fix it on its own. And for the whole campaign, we had kind of a free lunch discussion as though there are no hard choices to no, be made. No, you're right about that. That's just not true. We have a lot of choices we face in our budget, and we're going to have to come to terms with them. Otherwise, we'll be creating a big government debt bubble that will hurt the markets and that will hurt the economy. I find it annoying that you always have to shove reality back in my face. <laughs> it um, is annoying. You know, the one thing I do remember, the mind, and maybe you can educate me on, on whether we can do this again, with Bill Clinton, he didn't instantly eradicate the debt. Uh, he got deficit under control, we ran surpluses. But the key in those early years, to Bob Rubin's point and some of the others, show that you mean to get a handle on this. And that alone, an improvement alone, not curing it, but an improvement alone, um, would be enough to, to, to win over markets, to win over doubters, to set that, that, that train in motion. What do you make of that? I think there are two huge ingredients in addition to smart policies that we really need to get the economy and the markets on track in a sustained way. And those are confidence and certainty. And people are trying to figure out what they make of the new administration, what the policy priorities will be. There's a lot of exuberance and excitement in the markets. We'll see whether that turns to confidence. It may. But certainty is really going to be important. And what that means is when you look out on the horizon and you see that the debt is growing faster than the economy every year and that we're on an unsustainable path, you know things will have to change. But until we as sort of economic players know what those changes will be, there isn't enough certainty. And so I think that's the kind of recipe that's really going to be important to grow the economy for the next 10 years. We could do a short-term burst. Bur right, right. We could borrow our way to kind of a sugar high. That's not what we should be shooting for. We need to really be growing the economy back to higher growth rates in a sustained way, and that's going to take some work. All right, Maya, great catching up with you, even though you did bum me out again. But uh, thank you very, very much. Good stuff. Merry Christmas, Maya.